You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be shifting gears here. I'm gonna be playing arcade games instead, instead of the usual PS1. And um, starting out with the X-Men Children of the Atom. And this actually also came out for the PlayStation 1. And, well, that has problems. Like, uh, it's not, the animation is not as smooth. So, this is a, like, a better alternative to load instead, if you want arcade accuracy, I guess. This is closest you can get. And bonus, there's no loading times. So I'd say it would be better to have some of the arcade versions on your PlayStation Classic instead of um, their arcade one ports. I mean the PS1 ports. I'm sorry, got confused there. The button layout is immediately mapped out to, well, very similar to uh, what you have on the home ports. Uh, let's see, it's similar to the Super Nintendo Street Fighter 2 default layout. So you have your heavy attacks on your shoulder buttons, L and R, in this case L1, R1. Of course, if you're used to the joystick, uh, you might run into problems adjusting, but uh, maybe you have a certain USB joystick there that you can actually use on the PlayStation Classic. <coughs> Almost lost there. I forgot that the AI is uh, not that simple on this game. And yeah, we used to just repeatedly spam Optic Blast in the arcades before. You know, another bonus set of uh, having, I mean, loading um, arcade titles on your PlayStation Classic, of course, you can have, you're going to be able to play games that were not actually ported to the PlayStation. Or maybe did not uh, have a accurate port. Like, for example, X-Men vs. Street Fighter did not have the tag team in uh, the PlayStation version, which uh, kind of defeats the point of the game. Damn. 
still alive. All right. So air juggles wasn't that common yet in this game. fighting games or is this game uh, a lot harder than I remember because I just that's a problem when I didn't really try to improve my game because I just uh, uh, spammed certain moves in order to finish the game this one so anyway going to the performance of the game the emulator on uh, PlayStation Classic I'd say it's pretty pretty good it's uh, you got a solid 60 frames per second animation the sounds are all good so it's definitely worth it to put the arcade version instead of the PlayStation 1 version. I'm gonna try... Ah! I'm gonna try more arcade games soon. And uh, let, let's see how they perform. I'll also try games that did not have any PS1 ports. But anyway, this is X-Men Children of the Atom and you're watching 8 Mid Days a Week. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.